Okay, Jeremy, wrapping up the AAA brackets here at 285, and but you know you'd like to go, you'd like to make some waves here and maybe make an unconventional pick. But when you've got a guy like Bo Spiller up at the top of the bracket and all of his uh, credentials, fourth place finisher no. at states, I, he's going to get to the final. I just yep. don't see. I mean, you know, anything can happen when you get to the postseason. But if Bo Spiller comes to wrestle, I have him getting out to the final, uh, beating Jared Shell Redline in the semifinals. What do you think? Well, you don't have to worry about him missing weight or anything else. So guess what, Field? It's bad day for you. Bad weekend. Bo Spiller, the class of this field. It's a better field than normal. I'm not a big heavyweight supporter, but, you know, dancing bears. But there's a lot of good talent here. Uh, but nobody on the level of Bo Spiller gets out to the semifinals. I agree. He faces Jared Shell, who should get past Yoder. And uh, Evan Childs has really impressed me for CD. But too much Jared Shell. We get out of here, Bo Spiller, easily into the finals. Down below, I like Keith Miller a lot. Uh, I also uh, saw Jared Starliper for the first time this, this season, last week at Sections. I thought he did well. Jackson Stanford could make some noise, but again, if he was down here, I'd like him getting in the semis, but he's up here with Keith Miller. Keith Miller gets out to the semifinals. He wins. He loses to Bo Spiller, though, in the finals. Bo Spiller won't be beat. Yeah, I'm also interested in that Miller uh, Stanford quarterfinal, but I like Miller to get past there. Starlifer as well. Didn't have a chance to see him, but I've read a lot about him, and I think he gets into the semifinal uh, against Miller, but I like Miller to get past Starlifer, and then we've got a Miller Spiller. I didn't try to rhyme that, I, I swear, but I've got Spiller beating Miller to win the district title.